Hi YouTube, um, this is uh, actually my first uh, review video or was going to be my first review video of my first ever 3D printer um, on which I previously did some research uh, just to be sure that I wasn't buying anything crap uh, but I always also was on a budget so um, I did my research, watched a couple of other YouTubers uh, that they, they review on this printer, which is the ANETS ET4 Plus. Um, the Plus having to do somewhere with the firmware and the fact that there's actually two models named ET4, um, to which I'll be getting back later. Um, there was a clearance sales on AliExpress, so this was going for 105 euros, which is really cheap because. Uh, normally shipped from China, they start at 140. Uh, shipping within the EU, which is where I'm at, um, roughly at around 160, thereabout. Um, and this one was at a clearance sale at 105, shipped from Germany, which was also weird um, because uh, prior to uh, them shipping it from Germany to me. It was posted to two separate addresses. Uh, I'll also be coming back to that. Um, it came in really well packed, really neat. Uh, everything looked to be in fine order. I assembled it, it was really quite easy. The gantry came apart with the axe that holds the extruder uh, that you need to mount onto this and then you mount the whole um, gantry uh, onto the base unit that's about it and there's uh, really uh, easy uh, to connect uh, at the back which has all been labeled so that that was all fine no problems there and that's the way i wanted it because it is my first 3d printer uh, and i'm kind of a noob well I'm not kind of an, actually really a noob um, then i did the leveling the preheating and then uh, the the filament um, and then I ran into my first problem because I wanted to print one of the files that was already pre-configured on the uh, micro SD card that came uh, with the set and then this happened first day I just had it in they ship really quick by the way um, I ordered it about a a week before it came in. It came in, they said, somewhere between uh, uh, 5 and January 8. I got it January 6. And then I assembled it the next day. Um, so, yeah, look at this. The SD card won't stay inside. Uh, so I googled um, ANET ET4 um, SD card issues. Uh, I wasn't actually the only one. There's another video on YouTube. Uh, I will uh, post uh, the links below the description uh, to that video. Uh, it won't stay inside. Actually, if I try to press it in hard, it'll shoot out aggressively, like so. Um, the um, SD card slot is soldered to the main board, so if you want to replace the SD card you have to order a whole new board um, unlike other printers this manufacturer won't allow you will not allow you to open it up there's a sticker at the other side that says um, warranty void uh, if you remove the sticker so yeah that'll void the warranty I'm not going to do that um, and then uh, like I said before there's two types of ET4 uh, e uh, ANET uh, printers and for that I'm gonna have to adjust my camera slightly the one that was on the YouTube video uh, that I watched the reviewer there's two reviews uh, which I will also link in the description um, had a different um, site here uh, the ones where the little wheels are uh, clamming it to the uh, gantry here uh, that was butterfly shaped and this one is more triangular shaped uh, also it had a micro switch at the top here um, and they said that uh, it was homing on the top of the unit whereas if you um, do the leveling here and the settings here 
the micro switch here is uh, where it homes to and the one in the back of the, the heated bed so that's how it homes this one does not go up to uh, to set it um, so that's weird it also had a different extruder the one that had the that I watched the videos on had a separate um, how do you call this button switch for uh, uh, the, the bed leveling for the automatic bed leveling and altogether a different extruder so uh, that was different as well um, also it was really quiet the ones they had which was important to me uh, which was in fact the reason I bought it it was uh, they said, both of the reviews said it was a printer that equals the uh, Creality uh, Ender 3, uh, which is a really popular 3D printer. But that one doesn't come pre-assembled. That one comes as a kit. So, and like I said, I'm a noob. This is my first 3D printer. So I'm not going to do that. Uh, I want one that is either uh, completely pre-assembled or uh, partially pre-assembled, like this one. Um, but if I go to prepare and level, oh, sorry, the Z1, and now, oh yeah, there we are. Uh, so this is where you, um, when you go to prepare, uh, if you go to manual, this is where you uh, adjust the bed here, 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 and here, uh, so that uh, it'll print straight. Do you hear that? That's not one quiet stepper motor. Um, I'm not sure if we'll catch on on the video, but. This will resonate through the wall uh, to the bedroom uh, next to this one. So yeah, to me that's way too loud. Um, the ones on the video didn't have that. They were way more quiet. Um, and I couldn't tell the difference at the back here where the stepper motors actually are. Um, to see what that was all about. Um, looks to me like they're the same. I did the adjusting the same way they did. Which also brings me to this one. Not sure if you can hear it. But it's almost like this was way too tight onto the gantry when they shipped it. There's a reason for that because they don't want it to shift, of course. Um, but the wheel slightly dented as a result, where it's been sitting all the time inside the package. And I'm not sure if you can hear it. It's not supposed to make that noise. If I do it on the other side, that's how it's supposed to go. So that was the other problem. Um, I was going to get back at the shipping, right? Like I said, I ordered this unit from China and I actually blocked my personal info because that's none of your business, quite frankly. Um, and I need to shut the camera a little bit for that and I'm hoping it's picking up um, anyways that's the, um, uh, the the company that sells it it says here shipper not seller or this is not the, 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 the company that sells it but the company that ships it. it ships it from Newmark Germany but then Here it says, Czech Republic. And then the company that actually did the, the, the AliExpress seller is uh, listed as um, registered in Poland. Well, I make the mistake, if you buy from within Europe, uh, some sellers have the option for a free return policy. I don't even know where I'm going to return it, so um, I contact the seller, they did, they did not come back at to me. I also contacted ANET, 
uh, they said, yeah, the Plus is just a uh, firmware update. Yes, uh, the firmware is um, indeed specified as ET4 Plus. But the hardware is different than from what I ordered online. It's just altogether a different printer uh, that, uh, that was also pictured on AliExpress. Now, if you're going to go to AliExpress, I will post a link to the shop where I bought it from. Um, it now retails at 140 euros, by the way, because the clearance uh, series is over. Um, what was I going to say about that? Um, that is, um, if you look at the first picture, you'll see the, 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 the one with the butterfly-shaped... Um, part on the gantry, uh, not like this one which is kind of triangular shape. Um, so yeah, um, there's no even no way for me to uh, demonstrate this apart from the fact that it is loud and noisy. This wheel is bumped. Um, the bed leveling works I guess. Uh, I haven't tested it because I couldn't test uh, do a test print. I couldn't run it. Uh, because uh, there's the SD card that won't fit. There's an old style USB port. I connected that to the computer. The computer won't recognize it. So um, that USB port is not meant for direct file transfer. That just goes through the uh, SD card. Um, unless you uh, use software. But actually ANET um, recommended not doing that. Because if your uh, computer... Um, how do you say it goes out uh, for battery saving purposes it'll stop the data transfer and it'll stop the print um, so the best way to go about it is to transfer the, the G code onto the SD card um, when you prepped it with a slicer like uh, I don't know what slicer you're using but um, is to uh, print it directly from SD card which is not going to work. Show you just one more time. Not having it. So yeah, there's my first uh, ever YouTube review on my first ever 3D printer. Uh, my advice to you guys, um, don't buy it. And um, if you're fine with the fact that you could uh, solve this problem in case it should happen to you, and with the loud stepper motors, um, all right, it's not just not my advice, um, which is a damn shame. <laughs> so uh, I really don't know how to end this video, except for um, if you're gonna buy it, uh, take my advice and use a seller that is uh, easy to ship back to, um, and make sure it is the one with the butterfly model because. Other YouTubers had really good experience with that, so yeah, um, I'm hoping uh, maybe we both learned uh, something today. So, um, well, see you again. I'm Roop, and uh, well, that's Roop. <laughs>